Hi, I'm Malika Mohammed, the industry blogger, and this is Miss Jackson. Okay, so my birth name is Stephanie Jackson. Um, when I first started singing and um, playing with rapping, don't laugh at me, my name was Empress. <laughs> and my brother was like, um, I don't like that name, you gotta come up with something else. So I said, okay, well, um, how about I just use like Miss Jackson, like Miss Jackson, if you nasty. He said, but then it would be like in French and all Janet Jackson. I was like, no, she ain't doing nothing with that right now. She about to get out the game. So I just changed the spelling of it with the three X's. Um, and X's and mathematics means the unknown. So I figured each X in my name would mean um, I'm still unknown, still trying to find myself, my body, and soul. I feel like the is very vibrant. I feel like the scene is underground. I think the scene needs investors. I think that, excuse me, I think that um, a lot of the artists here have to get a little bit more business minded too because at the end of the day it's not so much how good your music is. You got to have a whole package. So that makes, if that includes like having updated photos, looking like something when you're out here in the street and you're supposed to be your brand, like it all comes together. So it falls back on both the artists and the people who are not paying attention and don't want to give us a chance because so many people that were supposed to be artists from Baltimore have messed it up for us. So, so it's a little bit of everything, but I think that there's definitely a scene that is a lot that there isn't one. It's definitely a scene, it's a lot of unheard people who have some talent. Honestly, I get a lot of support from strangers. Strangers, especially when I go out and I'm and I'm performing in front of people I do not know, and I make it feel like we all are family. So when I'm done, they're like, "Girl, that was good. Let me get a picture. Let me get an autograph." I was like, "You want an autograph?" So every time I'm up um, Baltimore City Community College, I have like a small little line of people that want to take pictures and do autographs. And I said, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Because right. <laughs> quite honestly, here in Baltimore, it's hard for somebody to even say, that was good. Or they stand in front of you like this with the strong face. <laughs> and you be singing, singing your heart out. And then they won't say anything. But I, I get a lot of love from strangers and people who believe in me who don't even know who I am or where I come from. I listen to a lot of older, older music like Diana Washington, Billy Holiday, um, Betty Davis, a lot of those because I feel like when they were singing, they were singing from the heart. It's not so much that they were singing to sell records. Like back in the day, if you could sing things and the paint off the walls, then you had a record deal. It wasn't so much that you fit the script or what you look like and how you dress and what your personality was. So I look up a lot to like the older musicians and artists. So nowadays you think that's what they're lacking? Definitely. I feel like they are lacking the, the, the culture of music, of actually learning how to read it um, and where it originated from. So I feel like a lot of the artists just want to sing. Or they just want to more so be fame gods. How do I grind? That's a trick question. <laughs> um, well, you see me here. This is my environment. Um, this is my hustle. I love doing hair. I always love doing my own hair. I never like to put my hands in other people's Until, I, you know, I had my son. I was like, you know, I really need to find something to do. So I grind with this, I set my own hours, I can be here and say, oh, I have to go to the studio, just the studio, or I got appointment at 7 and be back. So between doing this, and then I have my rubbish whatnot jewelry that I do on the side to help me if I'm stuck on the song, then it only makes me jewelry and open it up a little bit, so I'm glad I'm doing that. Running over all that I believe. These voices, these voices inside all my right. head. What separates me from other artists mm -hmm. is showmanship. When I get on the stage, you are going to have an excellent time. You feel me? You're going to be singing along even if you don't know my song. Um, I, I, you know, I know how to do a lot of things. Between, like, I incorporate theater in my performance, I incorporate um, the, the poetry. Sometimes I even go out 
and get other musicians to jam with me who are exceptional at what they do. So if you want to see somebody that you want to have to pay almost $300 to see for one day for cheap, <laughs> come on out with your cameras and your Polaroids and all that mess because, you know, I want you to be able to say I saw her on her humble beginnings and she was awesome and, and I plan to be greater. So if you like it and you love it, you can meet me on Instagram and YouTube and Twitter through at Ms. Jackson, that is M-I-D-J-A-X-X-X in the three X's of the unknown for the unmet medical motherfucker. So, um, what else can you find me? Well, you can just put in Miss Jackson in Google and everything will pop up that you can ever do. I do a little bit of everything. So, they include jewelry, tall rubbish, what not to do right here. And uh, <laughs> I am selling that and doing here and not selling weed.